start at the beginning with Janet. Um, where did the initial inspiration for Fly Away come from? Uh, I made a short film um, a few years ago that was very close to my own experience and much more autobiographical and had the opportunity to show it at various film festivals and invariably there were other parents of kids on, with special needs in the audience and the first question was always, are you going to make a feature? And I started to understand over the course of a year of showing films that they were really saying, please make a feature. And I started to feel a responsibility that um, to, to speak on behalf of those who couldn't and to share an experience because storytelling is such a primal human need to, um, you know, when you find the earliest human relics, we see cave paintings. It's a way to say, I am. And, uh, and to be seen and to be understood. And so I felt that was really important. We, this is a, a, a very big issue in our society that's growing epidemic rates. There's been a 53% increase in diagnosis of autism in the past decade. There are now 800,000 people diagnosed with autism in America. So this is an experience that's very specific, it's particular, and important to share. And I also felt a responsibility and an opportunity, because I am a parent, to understand from the inside out and be able to, to work with such brilliant cast. <laughs> But to, to explore really truthfully, within an unflinching way, what love is. That it's not sentimentalized. It's not, you know, we love because we have a fantasy about our kids as being ugh, geniuses who can build computers. But we love our kids because we love our kids. And in fact, um, a very small percentage of the, the people on the spectrum, and I say spectrum of autism because it's, uh, it, it's a wide variety of types. It's actually not autism singular, it's autism plural. But a very small percentage have extraordinary skills or are diagnosed as what we call Asperger's. Most are more like the character of Mandy, if not more severe. And most of the films and TV shows that I've seen that have depicted autism, brilliant though they may be, are depicting that milder kind of autism. And so that's not representing what the real need is. And if we are asking society to advocate with us and help to meet the needs of our kids when they become adults and we pass on and they're still living out their lives, well, how can we ask you guys to join us if you don't know what the issue is? So I also felt that was important and, um, and personally cathartic.